Well, the Hillbrook Upper School, which is for high school age students, just moved into two historical buildings right here in downtown San Jose. And it's a bold move for the private school aiming to give kids a more real world experience. Hillbrook School started out in a secluded location in the Los Gatos Hills 89 years ago. But for its newly formed upper school, it came to the center of San Jose. Don't get run over by the VTA. School leaders Chloe Scott and William Tang don't usually walk these streets, but for the next three years, this will be their second home. I was really excited because it's a new environment. I'm like switching things up a little bit. Um, of course, same school. But it's been really awesome to be in this new place, and I think everybody has been really excited about it. The natural environment our school being just newly founded provides us a lot of opportunities. This is the first year in the school's new permanent location. The former National Guard Armory has been remade into a gymnasium on the ground floor and classrooms on the upper floor. And next year, the school will move into a renovated classroom building inside the 1890s Moir building. It's a dramatic but intentional change of venue. We talk about the idea of a city as classroom. Mark Silver is the head of school and wants students to take advantage of what the city has to offer. We believe that it's really critical for high school kids to be in a real place, in an urban environment um, where they can really engage in, in the community. The school is already expanding traditional classroom work with walking excursions to nearby landmarks. For a lesson on free speech and nonviolent protest, classes visited the Olympic Victory Salute statue at San Jose State. There's so many things we're going to take advantage of down here. You know, there's obviously San Jose State University, I mean, just a world class library, a world class facility. We've already, in the first few days, been over there engaging with, with some of their archivists, also visiting parts of their campus. There's obviously City Hall, there's the courthouses, there are um, you know, multiple nonprofit organizations. Students are also exposed to the not so pleasant realities of urban street life, including crossing through blighted areas and homeless encampments. But students say those are also learning lessons and volunteer opportunities that some have already jumped on. Homelessness, you can't just throw money at it, give people houses. That's not how it works. You still need like food, you need a job, you need to be stable. So, um, but this past summer, I've been working with a few classmates. Um, Two of my brothers and uh, one of my best friends at several organizations in downtown San Jose. This was Garden the Table, Second Harvest, Martha's Kitchen, most importantly. I think that high school is a really good time to bring students over to a more busy environment. And, and Chloe and William say they hope the school can be a good neighbor. How we can help small business owners and stuff like that that's really involved in the city of San Jose. A new campus and an energized student body. Could it help revitalize what has been for decades a neglected part of the city?